Good evening, cruisers. Welcome to a very, very special live stream where this evening we are going to be announcing our next cruise. We're going to allow Mr. Cruise Tips TV just a few moments to get settled in the cockpit over there. And before we actually make that announcement, I would like to make a very special toast to you, our cruising community. And I'm actually gonna go grab a very special little bottle of champagne here. Mr. Skeleton, you go right there, because this month also marks something else. And that is our five-year anniversary here on Cruise Tips TV. Before I get to that, I want to remind all of you that tonight's live stream vlog is brought to you by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. And if you follow me on Shipmate app, you can go see a spoiler right now of where our next cruise will be, but don't tell anybody in the chat, keep it a secret please, so that I can reveal it. But I'm gonna attempt to open this little bottle of champagne because we are very touched and very moved by how many of you, are you gonna help me, sweetheart? Thank you. How many of you are continually following us after five years? And that bottle of champagne was actually, and this is the part where I might get choked up. Um, sorry, it's okay. It was given to me um, by someone who had a lot of faith in us and said to go for it five years ago, and I saved it for five years. And um, we just want to say thank you to everyone because this is a big deal. It's a special night. And I knew I was going to get emotional. I knew it. There was just something about this live stream that I knew I wasn't going to be able to keep it together for. So Mr. Cruise Tips TV, while I pop this, can you go get me some tissue so I can wipe my tears and thank our subscribers? I don't drink the fancy stuff, you guys, <laughs> but tonight we're going to, I'm a little afraid to pop this because we're surrounded by uh, a lot of lights and I'm afraid that either I don't have the strength or I'm gonna knock something very expensive out. Should I, oh, here it goes. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> did you catch it, honey? So cheers to all of you, our wonderful subscribers for sticking with us for five years and cheers to many more. Cheers to 100,000 in a group cruise and I will, pull myself together so we can have some fun here tonight, I promise. This will be the end of my emotional meltdown. All right, so how is everybody doing tonight? We had massive, weird, stormy rain today in California, and it was super awesome because I don't know about you guys, but I am super tired of this five-year drought. So we are super happy to have wet roads and terrible drivers, which is what we get in California when it rains. So cheers, everyone. Let's get the show on the road and tell you where our next cruise is. I don't want to keep everybody waiting, but I will say stay till the end because we do have a giveaway tonight and it's a good one. Mr. Cruise Tips TV is bringing the clue in. Go ahead, babe. <laughs> if this is not a dead giveaway, I don't know what is. So what do you guys think? Where are we going? Go ahead, type it in the chat. I know, Claudia, I'm so sorry I got emotional. I just Kind of had a feeling it was coming. It's been, I've been bottling it up for a while, I think, and it's a big deal. This, you guys are a big part of our life, and we get so much joy from what we do, and I knew it was going to happen, so, okay, I have to pull it together. Anyway, where are we going, guys? Ah, Brian, you are correct. Judy, you're correct. A lot of people are correct. Yes, Brooke, everyone's got it. You guys are good. So, yes, we are going to Japan, but not only are we going to Japan, we are going on a 3,000 mile journey from Tokyo to Singapore on Diamond Princess. It is a 12 night cruise. And what's so special about this, there's a lot of things that are so special about it, but um, Diamond Princess was our first ship. So Mr. Cruise Ships TV and I, when we met, we were obviously totally poor, we were trying to save money for a vacation, and when I finally said, honey, I really want to take you on a cruise, Diamond Princess was one of the local options here, so we jumped on to the Mexican Riviera and of course had the time of our lives. So there's a huge special significance to the Diamond Princess, the Grand Class or the Gem Class ships for us, and it's just crazy how it all worked out. So many of you know that we had a lot of other ideas for a romantic 20-year anniversary cruise. You hear us talking about Tahiti, we're always talking about tropical, beautiful places, but 
The truth is, our sun is getting bigger and there's something in our life that we really miss and that is really, really traveling. So we do a lot of local cruises, a lot of home port cruises, a lot of comfortable cruises. And we didn't want to be comfortable anymore. We wanted to get out of our comfort zone and do something that was a little bit terrifying. And this was it. And I also want to give a huge um, hug and virtual kiss to someone special in the chat tonight, and that is Cheryl. Um, Cheryl actually booked this cruise for us. So Cheryl, feel free to raise your hand, put a little heart in the chat, anything you want to do. She's an absolutely incredible travel agent and she really made the process very, very simple for us and she continues to feed me with information. And um, for those of you who don't work with a travel agent, I will tell you that when you have a really good travel agent, no matter how many cruises that you have been on, the value add is absolutely unbelievable. Um, you know, I've been on 30 cruises and she is still constantly reminding me of things I need to think of. She's looking out for me. She has helped us out with our airfare. She's a tip machine. So with that said, thank you, Cheryl. Mwah, smooches to you. And I'm going to take a sip of this champagne because, hey, I want to make sure it's still good after five years. So what do you guys think? Everybody excited? Thank you, Kelly, so much for the super chat. I'm so sorry that I missed that. And Tammy, thank you so much for the super chat. That's so sweet. I appreciate it. Wow, Mary, there's 600 people here. Great. 600 people saw me have a mild emotional breakdown on camera. I'm Woohoo! <laughs> That's okay. Thank you, T Sin. I appreciate it. Brooke, you're so sweet. Brooke, you know what? You got it last night on the Facebook Live, and I had to I had to keep my game face on, Brooke. It wasn't easy. So everybody think it's pretty excited. Anybody disappointed about our cruise? <laughs> I'm sure that you're I'm happy for us, but I'm really curious to hear where you thought we were going. I know you guys had so many good guesses. I had people, a lot of people were guessing Europe because you know us well enough to know that my husband and I lived in um, Spain when we first, earlier in our relationship really, before, um, before we even got married, we lived in Spain. So when you started hearing me talk about the fact that there was some significance there, I think a lot of you thought that that's where we were going. That was a really good guess. And Europe is actually very likely to be on our horizon in the next year. So for those of you who are interested in seeing some Europe coverage, we have some plans. Thank you so much for the super chat. I saw another one pop in, but it popped out just as fast. Brianna Julian, thank you so much. So <laughs> you guys are so cute. I'm trying to keep up with the chat. Let me jump in for a moment and just see what everybody's saying. All right, I saw something from Nurse Nancy that looked like a question. Mr. Cruise Tips TV. Um, Nurse Nancy, we're going this fall. So it's um, not, not for a little while now. We've got a little bit longer. We've got some time to plan and there's a lot of planning that goes into this. So yeah, Susan, you love Singapore. We have a really short time in Singapore. But wow, you guys, I mean, how amazing is it to travel 3,000 nautical miles on a cruise and we've done we've covered a lot of ground before but this is a one way so I, I just I think it's pretty exceptional and I want to tell you a little bit about the ports um, so I mentioned to you that we start in Tokyo so we leave from Yokohama port and then we go to Shimizu which is in, also in Japan for Mount Fuji and then um, we go to Osaka which is going to be pretty exciting. Then we have some sea days, a couple of them. And then we go to Taipei in Taiwan, which is going to be pretty cool. I'm super excited about that. Then another sea day, then Hong Kong, then another sea day, then two ports in Vietnam, which is really neat, and Singapore. So what's so crazy about this, you guys, is our packing game is going to be totally thrown off because we're going from winter to the equator in one cruise. So if anybody has any packing tips for me, I'll be needing a lot of help with this because as you know, we are stubbornly going to go carry on only because the flight is very long and we don't want anything slowing us down. So we are going to be, as SoCal Seth would say, we are going full ninja style on this packing game and it is going to be very, very interesting. All right. All right. Let's see what we've got going on here. Oh my gosh, that's a great question, Zia. Is there anything we're looking forward to most on this cruise? Yeah. Oh man. There's so many things, Zia. I think that the relaxation is a big component for us. 
getting to go on a longer cruise is something that I need. I need to be able to unwind because you guys know I run pretty hard. I'm not a good relaxer. I need those sea days, I'll be honest with you. I'm ready to I'm ready to chill a little bit. So I'm excited about that. The other thing, Zia, that I'm really excited about is the fact that we're sailing in a mini suite. It has been a very long time since we've chosen to spend the money on it. And quite honestly, this cruise was really inexpensive. One of the reasons we booked it, it was a killer bargain. And we're going, airfare included, and a mini suite for three people. We are going to Japan for under six, around $6,000, which is about half what it would have cost us to go to Tahiti, and it's a 12-night cruise. So that is a mini suite cabin and air. That is a good deal. We're going to be talking a little bit more, too. I'm really getting a lot of feedback from you guys that you want to talk more about how much cruises cost. And, and some of you have messaged me privately to do that, and I have a really great idea. Thank you so much, Kathy Barber, for the anniversary wishes. We really appreciate that. All right, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, um, do you want to put any questions in that special little new thing we have there? There's just so many. Okay. Um, Nancy, how many hours is it to get to Japan? From Los Angeles, it's going to be exactly 11 and a half hours direct flight over. The flight on the way back is giving me mega anxiety. It's going to be torture. We're leaving Singapore. We have a five-hour flight to Taiwan, and then we have another 12-hour flight to LA with a four-hour layover in between. So it's going to be a very long travel day coming back, and I'm going to work the next day, I think, unless I die and can't do it, which is probably going to happen. So yeah. Okay. Um, junior editor is super excited, Christine. He is such an adventure her. He, he wanted this cruise. When we started talking and researching, and we would... On Sunday mornings, we would pull up the laptop in our bed and we would all pile into our bed and we would look at itineraries and he got really excited about Japan. We've always really wanted to go to Korea, which is funny, but um, our interest in Korea has opened our eyes to all of um, Asia and very specifically Japan, so he is thrilled and excited. So I think he's at the right age now. He's going to be turning 10 soon and it's time. All right. Um, yes, Steel Iron, there are cruises where you stay in the same port for two days. That Cozumel is a good example of that. I want you to look at Carnival Cruise Lines because Carnival is actually doing some extended port types of things where you can stay in port for a couple days. And also Azamara Club Cruises is famous for longer stays. There's way more than that. Okay, um, Joe wants to know if there's a way to find out what theme nights a cruise will have. Yes, Joe, it's, it's kind of embarrassingly funny the way I tell people to do this. I wish I had a magical way to do it, but you actually Google it. So you're going to take your ship name and you're gonna Google it. You're gonna say Carnival Splendor theme nights or Carnival Splendor Mexican Riviera theme nights. Um, and it should come up. Who knows where it'll come from, but yes, it should come up for you. All right, good job with the questions, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. I'm going to pop back in and see if I can capture any. Flyover Country said, "You can we try to do a live stream on the 30-day countdown on what to do? Yes, Flyover Country, we will do something like that. And um, I think that's an excellent idea, and I'll try to make a note of it. Flyover Country, if you want to message me on Facebook to remind me, I would welcome that because today is a little cray-cray, and I got my hand on my champagne and not my pen and my notepad. So that'd be great. The champagne is good, Kayla. Thank you for asking. Okay, let's try it again because I haven't really got to enjoy it. Mm. Zia, we're really excited about the food. I want to also let you know that for those of you who are actually interested in learning more about the Diamond Princess, we have an episode coming up next week all about the um, all about the Diamond Princess. It's a pre-recorded episode that has beautiful photos of the ship. There are some really cool surprises. I want you guys to watch that episode. And I want to talk about the ship and everything today quite so much because I want to be with you guys and hang out. But I really want you to watch that and see what's unique about this ship. There are some... Um, there are some things that they put on the ship for the Asian market that are going to make it a really unique cruising experience, and I'm thrilled about it. Brooke, thank you so much for the super chat. You are such a sweetie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're so funny, Brooke. I know, right? Just take the day off. Oh, my gosh. Angie, thank you so much. You're so sweet. I know. I you guys are probably right. I probably should take the next day off. I think it's probably a good idea, but I'm using so much vacation time for this cruise. So yeah, that's, that's, that's real life though, right? Sometimes you just have to go back to work the next day. All right, Troy, I'm so glad to know that you enjoyed MSC Seaside Yacht Club. We certainly hope to be experiencing the Yacht Club on our next cruise, but I can say that the Aria experience is excellent too. Thank you so much, Amy, for that. I really appreciate it. 
Okay, let's see. Royal Caribbean Cruises. Amanda, that's too broad of a question for me to address tonight. Royal Caribbean is an awesome line. Their ships are big. They're great for adventure seekers and active families and people who like to do a lot. So yeah. Oh my gosh, Griff and Alyssa are here. You guys, thank you so much for the beautiful super chat. Mr. Chris Tips TV, make sure you read Griff and Alyssa's sweet super chat. You guys are so precious. Thank you so much. I know you guys all probably know Griff and Alyssa. Alyssa? Alyssa? Sorry, Alyssa, I just gave you a new name. But they're awesome vloggers. They are doing a ton of cruises lately. And if you are needing a fix, their latest stuff on Carnival is so fun. So go check out their channel. And thank you so much. You're so precious. We really appreciate that. Um, I hope I haven't missed any of the other super chats. You guys, please know we do not ever expect you to do that. We love you just being here, but thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a lot to us, and I love the way that it highlights the images, and we can see your, not your images, you know what I'm trying to say, the text, the stuff on the screen, so we can see ya. All right. Okay, let's see what else we have here. All right, Maurice, we don't publicly share our travel dates on the air, um, but Look at Shipmate and you can figure it out. How's that sound? I hope that makes sense to you just for safety reasons. Okay. All right. Let's see. Half Moon Key. Zia has a question. Um, no, Half Moon Key, you may absolutely go and just chill in the lounge chairs. There are ways to do Half Moon Key for free. Yes, you can take advantage of the island. It is included in your cruise fare. Of course, there are absolutely loads of upcharge things that you can do there as well. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, I always do this. I get myself stuck. Okay. All better. Thank you, Gail. So appreciate it. Okay. Mark Webster said, is there a major difference in vibe between Caribbean and Mexican Riviera cruises? You've assumed Caribbean are more high energy, but you're not sure. You know what, Mark? It kind of depends. Um, it depends on the cruise line more than anything. I've noticed that Miami cruises can be a little more wild. Um, it's I, I, Caribbean, yes, but there's something about cruises that leave from Miami. Maybe Griff and Alyssa can weigh in on that. I don't know how much they've done Mexican Riviera, but I mean, I feel like there's something about Miami that's just a little bit more lively. But I can tell you that on most of the lines, the sail away parties are pretty fun and high energy on the Mexican Riviera. And you know, if you're cruising spring break, it's gonna be extra super wild, but in general, it's probably pretty cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aw, thanks Griff and Alyssa. You know what? Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's always hope. We've we're always trying to find new ways to kind of reinvent what we do and be consistent for everybody and change according to what people want to do. But there's there's just so much there's so much space out there for what you guys are doing. And Griff's editing skills are the bomb, like literally unbelievable in my opinion. And I just love watching you guys. Keep up the great work and. Enjoy building your tribe. You're doing an amazing, amazing job. Amy wants to know, was there a close runner up to the Japan cruise? We looked at some other Japan cruises, but no, it kind of found us. And I was, I, you know, I, we kept looking at other things, but we kept going back to these and they were such an incredible value too, that we just really kind of fell in love with the idea. All right. Christina said, what are good excursions in St. Martin? What do you guys think? Let's help Christina with excursions in St. Martin in the chat. I haven't spent as much time there. Um, Amanda, we'd love to go on a Royal Caribbean cruise soon, but we don't have it planned. Tasha, how many formal nights on a 12 day cruise? There's going to be two. I already looked on the website and there will be two formal nights on the 12 night cruise. And how am I going to handle the shoes, Tasha? What am I going to do? Because I don't think I want to take formal shoes. I think I want to ditch the formal shoes and just wear my nice wedge sandals to formal dinners. So I'm going to have to figure it out, man. All right. Yeah. One more day won't hurt. Who asked that question, honey? If you're taking some, is that Brooke? I can tell. I, Brooke, I can tell a comment without your name attached to it. Just so you know, that's how well I know you. I just want you to know that. <laughs> this is going to be really fun. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, the great price, Rebecca, you know what? We just kept looking at Princess's website and when we were ready, we got in touch with Cheryl and said, is this true? Is this possible? Is this deal real? And she said, yeah, that's a, that's a real deal. Let's do this. So that's what happened. Hi, Leslie. Thank you so much. Hey, um, happy. Oh, no, it's not your anniversary. You're going on Ruby out of Vancouver. Leslie, is that a California coastal or what, what kind of a cruise is that? Let me know. I'm curious to know. And thank you for the super chat. If I have missed any super chatters. Oh, Gwen, I missed you. Sorry about that. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Gwen's been with us for a long time, too. We've got a lot of OG peeps in the house tonight. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about the giveaway. Um, so tonight's giveaway is open to international. 
and United States. Mr. Cruz Tips TV is going to be randomizing the drawing again, so we need to, I'll tell you when to, um, I'll tell you when to type something into the to the chat to enter the giveaway. Tonight it is a set of well-traveled pa uh, packing cubes. These are gorgeous. And I think I've I think I've shown these off before, but I can't remember. Let me just try to hold them up. I'm shipping you this set from my home, so they're still tied together, which is why I'm trying to keep them nice and neat because I don't want to mess them up. But they look like they remind me of like a sunset. So there are a set of three and they're just really beautiful. So trust me, whoever gets these is gonna love them. I'll let you know how to enter in a few minutes towards the very last few minutes. All right. Okie dokie. Let's get in and see what questions we have. Um, da, 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 da. Are gratuities compulsory? Oh dear, that flew by me so fast. On Asian sailings, yes they are, P at C. They are customary on Asian sailings. Um, and interestingly enough, this is a, the demographic on these ships, from what I was told from Emma, from cruising isn't just for old people who went on a very, very similar cruise, is that it's a very mixed demographic. A lot of Australians though, which is interesting, right? Like what you're saying about the gratuities, I know it's not customary to do that in Australia. Um, it's not, there are not as many people from Japan and the Asian countries that we're cruising to from what I have been told, because the ship is more geared towards the North American and Australian and European markets. So yeah, okay. Um, Jessica, I used to think I'd stay on the ship while in Jamaica, but now that we discover the blue hole, we are in love with it, and we definitely probably will um, never stay on the ship in Jamaica. Nancy, yes, we do need a visa for um, Vietnam, and Princess takes care of that for us on the ship for $56 per person. So, yeah. Cheryl, you did not have to give us a super chat. I can't get my words right tonight. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. You guys are way too generous tonight. Okay, what do we have going on here? All right, let's see here. Amanda, we already answered that. Jessica, Royal Princess in April to the Mexican Riviera. Free beaches, things to do. Yeah, Jessica, there's tons of free beaches. Tons of free beaches in the Mexican Riviera. There's free beaches everywhere you go in Mexico. Why don't you message me, um, Jessica, and I'll try to give you some ideas, but let's let everybody else jump in as well. Medano Beach is a very inexpensive uh, water taxi ride in Cabo. In, what's that? What? Ask for Jerry. Oh yeah. So if you haven't seen our How to Get to Medano Beach vlog from Cabo, this sweet, adorable water taxi driver, he keeps sending me DMs on Facebook of photos of him and our subscribers. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Ask for Jerry and watch our How to Get to Madano Beach vlog for beaches in Cabo. Mazatlan, you can take a, um, like a little excursion over to Stone or Deer Island. There's two sort of places you can go that are kind of fun. Mazatlan's beaches aren't as pretty. And in Puerto Vallarta, ask to go to Zona Romantica and you can enjoy the beaches there. Okay, I wanna get started on giving everyone about five minutes to enter the giveaway. So we would like you to tell us um, what country you're from. And also, um, I'm so sorry, I lost my train of thought for just a moment. Also wanted to find out what your dream cruise location is. Not the ship, I just wanna know the location. So your entry should say something like Canada, comma, Norway. You know, wherever it is that you dream of going. So just go ahead and start that off. We are going to be closing that off at 626 to give Mr. Cruise Tips TV enough time to randomize for the drawing. Um, Millie, would I recommend Cuba and which cruise line? I haven't been to Cuba, but um, I believe Scott from Scott Singer Cruises, who's here in the chat tonight, has been recently, so watch Scott's vlogs. Also, Tommy from Always Be Booked recently went to Cuba. Let's let some of our vlogger friends help you out and see what they think, but I'm, I'm interested in going, without a doubt. We're getting a lot of entries here. Oh, I saw Bora Bora in there from someone. I wanna to try to continue answering a few more questions. We haven't, Trisha, been on a Disney cruise just yet. It's really expensive, so someday we will. Um, Holly in San Juan, I recommend for the first time that you go to the fort. Everyone says it's worth it. Go early in the morning to the fort. Um, it's a bit of an uphill climb, but I've heard that it's wonderful. Okay, Shauna, is there a way to view all the major cruise lines and see what they offer? Sort of. Shauna, what I would recommend that you do is go to cruiseline.com and start learning about the different cruise lines. What they do is they have sort of profiles on the lines there and they explain to you what the cruise line is like, what each ship is like, and you can read expert reviews and, and um, uh, regular user reviews as well. Okay, my chat thing got stuck again. 
Technology, technology, I'm telling you. All right, let's see if we have any more questions coming in. Okay, we're going to be closing that entries off in two minutes. Okay, lots of great dream destinations in there. Mr. Crow's Tips TV, are you randomizing or are you looking at questions for me? You're randomizing, okay, good. Thank you, it takes a while. Mmm, Holly, Italy. I know, I've been itching to go to Italy too because for some reason when we lived in, um, in Spain, we never visited Italy. We went to many other places but not Italy, so I'd love to do that too. Let's top this puppy off. Well, no, let's go for a refill. This is good stuff. I'm sure a lot of you have had this before, but I don't know if I've ever even tried it. But boy, is that special. I'm glad I saved it for five years. It still tastes delicious, even though it was sitting in my wine rack. I put it in the fridge a few days ago, but it is good. All right, celebrity. Who has a celebrity question? I just saw it popping through. All right, where'd it go? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, Sean, I haven't been on Celebrity before, but I've heard that they're a wonderful cruise line. Very contemporary, kind of modern, but yet still very focused on service. If anybody's been on Celebrity, let's give Sean some tips because it's not been um, something I've experienced. Okay. Which one, which country is it, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? The first one or the second one? You're, it says two things on there. It says, it says USA and Italy. Do you know which one it is? Oh, I get it now. <laughs> That's our dream cruise. Okay, it looks like we have... Give me the show. Me the show. <laughs> Mr. Chris Tips TV just typed the winner onto this shared screen that we have. We're actually using Google Docs now to, sh to talk to each other during the chat. This is our first night doing it. And I didn't understand what he wrote. It's actually really embarrassing. But we have a winner. Um, and the winner of the Packing Cubes tonight is Isabel Singer and her dream cruise is to Italy. So Isabel, I would like you to DM me. Do not leave your address here. Please DM me on Facebook if you can to tell me your physical address or email me at sherry at cruisetipstv.com. Peggy, I've never been on a river um, cruise. Yes, whoever asked to see the bottle of champagne. Never been on a river cruise, but my mom has. And my mom and I made a video about the river cruise. And so you should go back to the archives and just go to the video section of our, of our, um, our YouTube channel and type in river cruise. And you can see the, the interview that I did with my mom on her river cruise. It's really cute and sweet. I love it. Sarah, thank you so much. Okay, I would love to help you, Sarah, with your packing. Um, oh, you did your packing already. You don't need advice. You already got it and you employed it. Good job, girlfriend. Four grown-ups and an 11-year-old boy. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Good job. Well, thank you very much for the super chat. Appreciate it, Sarah. Okay. Oh, Nicole loves makeup. Thank you so much, Nicole. Nicole, let me know if you follow us on Cruise Gear as well. Um, I know we've been a little quiet on our other channel, Cruise Gear, because we've been so busy over here, but I want to get over there maybe even this weekend to do an unboxing. I do have some beauty boxes piling up that I'd love to show off. Okay, let's get a few more questions. We have three more minutes, and we will be back tomorrow night, everybody. Live again tomorrow night. Let me make sure I know what time. I think it's tomorrow at 6 p.m., and I've totally forgotten the topic because that is what happens to my brain in Vlogtober. Everything is on a Google Doc, and it's very organized, but if you ask me what the topic is tomorrow, I don't know. I just can't do it, but I'll be here. <laughs> and we will talk cruising and we will have fun. Okay, Kayla, Costa Maya, everybody says they love going to Maya Chan. That's what I would do if I went. That's all I can tell you. If anybody else has Costa Maya ones, let me know. Um, okay, tips for Leah. Lena, Lena Lynn loves music. Five-year-old and 2.5-year-old on a seven-day cruise, you must take an umbrella stroller. Please don't make the same mistake I did to Alaska. Definitely take a small stroller. You will need it, especially for the two-and-a-half-year-old. Um, okay, Matt is here from Royal Caribbean Blog. Matt, you were requested <laughs> earlier in the chat, I should have you know, there was someone who was like, I hope Matt's here today because I need to get some Royal Caribbean questions answered. So you might be getting a, um, a third or fourth job here as a, a pro chatter, <laughs> just teasing you. Anyway, know that you are loved. Jessica Ash, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Have I missed anybody else's super chats? If I've missed you, I've, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to see you, but I'm multitasking here tonight. Okay, let's see what else is going on. All right, great deals on Royal Caribbean to the Western Carib. You bet, Rebecca. Get a price alert going on your favorite cruises for Royal Caribbean 
at cruiseline.com. Go select the cruise, select price alert. They will email you when the price goes up or down so you can watch them. That would be my best advice. Okay, um, let's see here. Are we flying in before you're boarding? Christine, yes. For our Japan cruise, we are flying in the day before. There is a wicked time change. So we lose a day going over and we gain the day going back. So we actually have to leave two days early. So yeah. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. All right, you guys, we're wrapping up in one minute. If anybody has any last minute questions that I have missed, please forgive me. Type them real quick or come back tomorrow or send me a direct message on Facebook. Okay. Um, let's see here. Catalina and Ensenada. Yes, Delia, watch our vlogs from Carnival Imagination. We do fun things. We rented a boat on Catalina. We've rented golf carts before. In Ensenada, we went to the blowhole. It's called La Bufadora. Zach the Mac wants to know if I will be wearing this outfit behind me. And yes, I will. This was a gift from Mr. Cruz Tips TV. It is a real, is it a kimono, honey? What is it called? It has a name. It's called a yukata. And yes, it is for me, and I love it. I'm obsessed with the color. I'm so glad that you asked because I forgot to tell you that. I hope it's okay for me to wear it. I actually, um, if you guys wanna see it a little bit more, I will lift up our model. Isn't she beautiful? Um, I actually did rather extensive research on the appropriateness of wearing a yukata or a kimono in Japan or on the cruise. And I was very pleasantly surprised to learn that it is totally appropriate. In fact, it is honored in Japan to wear a yukata. So I don't think I'll be wearing it on shore excursions, but I think I'm gonna wear it to dinner or something because I think it's precious and beautiful. And, and I love that my husband gave it to me as a gift. I was very touched by that. And the colors are gorgeous. What do you guys think? Should I wear it? Um, yeah. So, Mark, you thought it was child size. Well, I'm child size, Mark. <laughs> In case you didn't know, I'm pretty, pretty petite myself. I'm five foot zero, and people don't realize it until they see me. They're like, "Wow, you're really short." So, yeah. Hey, Don. Don from Don's Family Vacations are here. Hey, Don. Good to see you. Been enjoying following your last trip. All right. So, what other questions does everybody have? Anything? Anything? All right. All right, so Dave Mellow Bulldog says we should end with a with a, a, a toast to the champagne. Mr. Cruz Tips TV is more of a Diet Coke man, but I will toast to him. Cheers, honey, he's over there typing away. Thank you all so very much for the compliments. Mr. Cruz Tips TV, did you buy this on Amazon? Ella wants to know where I got it. Yeah, it's Amazon, we buy everything on Amazon. If you want a link to it, Ella, we can get it for you. It's very lovely. Chris, yes, crochet blanket colors. That's so pretty, I would love that idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, you guys. I think we're going to wrap it up here. Again, we have to feed our family because we have not had dinner yet. Cheers to all of you. Thank you so much for joining us. Special thanks to those of you who helped to answer questions tonight. A huge hug and, um, and thanks to those of you who gave us some special super chats and more than anything for all the beautiful words that you shared with us. Um, thank you also for putting up with me when I got a little bit emotional at the beginning. Thank you so much, Michelle, for the super chat. And we will see you guys tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Pacific. Cheers to all of you. Happy five year anniversary to the Cruise Tips TV family. We love you. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Hey, click me to subscribe.